Hello guys, uh, in this video I'll show you how to create uh, and run Java on your uh, just any text editor or I'm using VI on Mac. Uh, you can use any text editor to do the same thing. Uh, you don't need those fancy uh, IDEs like Eclipse or IntelliJ IDEA. Uh, so let's get started. So um, the reason I'm showing this one because you get some so much errors uh, showing up when you actually compile it and run it so I'll show you those errors and how you actually resolve those so let's get it started so so what I want to do is first I'm on my home directory I want to create a new uh, directory here make mkdir with let's say my test and let's see due to that my test and now I want to create my uh, Java file here. So I use VI. So I'll say, uh, let's call it this one pictures, pictures.java. So when I do VI, I will open a VI editor with for this uh, pictures.java file. So hit enter. Now, uh, this is the command mode to do actually to, uh, to go to the insert mode, you, you press I and you are on insert mode as you can see it at the bottom here so i'll start by typing public class i'll say pictures so that's my class name open a bracket close a bracket and then inside here i want to just print out um just a hello world message so i do I first do my main method here, public static um, void main string args, close that, open a bracket, and then inside here, just want to print just system out, system that out that print and then, then I put this one along word perfect so now this class file is created so I, I put escape column wq that's to save it and quit now I'm up here so if I do ls here I have my pictures.java file so Next thing is I need to compile it. So to compile this Java file, I do Java C and then pictures that Java. It compiled perfectly. So when it compiled, it will create a dot class file or with the same names. So if I do ls, you can see that we have a new pictures that class file. So that's what the compilation is. So from this uh, let me show you the pictures the Java file. This is a human readable uh, format. So this format is actually converted to uh, bits and bytes. Um, so if I do VI on pictures that class, so you can't read it. It's, this is uh, uh, this is the compiled version of that Halo World format. So let me quit. So once we have the compiled version, which is a dat class file, we can run it with Java pictures, just pictures. There you go. You can see hello world printed out. So the problem is, uh, for example, if you have any packages on top of your Java, so you get some errors. So for example, if I go back to my pictures.java file, instead of having uh, move to insert mode go up here and then instead of having just a class file if I have a package here package let's say let's say let's call it one word so this is my package so I need to save it escape column wq now I have um, let me get rid of I have the class file that picture that class file I want to get rid of it rm dash r with pictures yeah. pictures class 
now if I do ls we don't have the compiled version so if I do Java Java C pictures that Java it actually compiled and if I do ls you can see the pictures that class file but but the problem is now if I do Java and pictures like we did earlier so here's the problem there's an error saying could not find or load main class so this is because now we created a, a package so that package is not actually uh, properly compiled properly compiled so to avoid that what I'll do is uh, let me remove that compiled um, pictures that class file because it's not compiled properly. So what I'll do is, uh, if I do it, let's just go now. So I'll do Java C pictures dot Java, and here I need to specify since w w when you talk about packages, packages that actually. Uh, encapsulate or hold uh, the the compiled versions or the uh, class files so we it has to have those uh, those directory structures so we need to have um, so let me go back here real quick um, Java pictures Java so here we have packages one word and then we have the class underneath so it creates a directory structure so packages first and then classes and then you if you have methods you have methods underneath so yeah. so for that reason we need to actually create a directory where we need to specify where we actually uh, put our compiled file so to do that we do java c this is how we do it so java c pictures java and here i need to specify my directory with dash d and then i put that this is to specify I want to put the compiled version onto this my current working directory which is that so that will that will do the job for me all right so it com perfectly compiled at ls and instead of pictures that class I'm getting one word that's my package okay so let me do it again then so Java pictures so this is another error that you probably say face still I'm getting like could not find or load the main class so but the proper way of running it is you need to specify the package name first which is one word that pictures yeah. Yeah. there you go now we specify the package add the class name it will actually find the main class and it will execute that file so we can see it here in action so thanks so much if you have any uh, questions or doubts put it on the comments and you have a good one bye bye